The ChatGPT image generator is breaking the internet and we are here to bring it to the world of advertising and creative strategy. And for the last 24 hours, I've been heads down playing with this tool. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways to create image ads using this tool, literally even on the free version. It's fast, it's easy and has the potential to create your next winning image ad. And that might be some bad news for our graphic designers. Head over to chatgpt.com. I'm on the paid version. But I don't don't think you necessarily need that just make sure you're on the gpt 40 model head on to the section where you'd insert your prompts click on view tools and select create image and then we are gonna drop in our prompt now with the prompting i like to use a particular model it's called the cap model c stands for content a stands for appearance and p stands for presentation i'm going to explain that as i prompt so this is what the prompt looks like but before i explain the prompt to you let me give you an overview of what I want at the end. So the first method of generating image ads using ChatGPT is by literally generating something out of nothing. This is really amazing for before and after images and that's what we're trying to create with this prompt. So I want a side-by-side -side image of an arm. On the left side, we can clearly see a tan line on the arm. The tan line is darker than the actual skin tone and on the right, the tan line has disappeared. The left arm looks uneven and slightly dehydrated. The right arm looks healthy, even skin tone and well hydrated. The arm is of an Indian woman. This is our target audience. She is olive toned. The left image, the person is wearing a t-shirt and on the right image, the person is wearing a dress. So this is the content cap model. This is the appearance. This is how we want the content rendered to look like. And then this is at the end, the presentation, which is essentially giving ChatGPT a bit more technical information in terms of the aspect ratio and stuff like that. So I want a one by one image or a square image and I am going to drop that prompt into ChatGPT. It's going to start working on it. Now, a couple of things I've noticed, sometimes it is on this window for a very long time. I've seen that refreshing the window helps or you'll see sometimes the image is half rendered and it doesn't actually finish the whole image. Again, just refresh your browser. It tends to come back with the complete image once you've refreshed it. Method one, generating something out of nothing essentially as you can see the left arm is clearly tanned and the right arm looks much more even quite like this image there's not much i want to change in this image it says day one and day 14 that's perfect too just like that we have created a before and after image i could literally run this as an ad with nothing changed however we're going to move on to the second method which is combining two images so say this is the image i want to add the product in here somewhere so i am going to download this image call it before and after go ahead and click on upload files so this is the second method of generating ads from chat gpt i am going to go and click on that before and after image that we just rendered click on soap just a random soap that i've got uh, from the internet this is going to be our product again using the cap model i want to insert the soap into the image as the product that allows users to achieve the skin for and after that we are showcasing make the soap look premium and add a glow to the soap so that's the content and keep the image clean and minimal as the previous render one by one aspect ratio wait for that to load the possibilities are really endless in terms of what you can generate i'm just waiting to see how chat gpt has combined both of these images together but look at the detail like even the fabric there's so much detail this does not look like an ai generated image the main thing is the text you know previously text generation using chat gpt or any other model was, was so poor but now you can have clear text uh, even the fact that i said how oh, the skin looks dehydrated look at that dehydrated skin the attention to detail it is crazy okay it's come back with the soap uh, i mean it's not the best image probably tweak this a little bit so go back to this original prompt well i'm just going to copy this exact prompt keep the soap at the top top end of the image because I feel like this just is just looks very 
cluttered. And yeah, once this image is generated, that's essentially the second way of generating an image. Go ahead, take this a couple of steps further. So say, for example, I were to upload an image of a man on the beach, the soap, and then whilst this is loading, I can prompt, I want this man on the beach to hold the soap. I want his left side to be tanned with strong tan lines and I want the right side of his body to be even skin toned. Keep the image clean, minimal and premium looking one by one aspect ratio. Now there is no right or wrong way to prompt, it's mainly being able to articulate to ChatGPT what it is that you want exactly. Now day one, day 14, again, I could potentially use this as well. I'm not gonna go too in depth into tweaking this, but yeah, that's the second type of image that you can generate. Again, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna try and do another similar type of prompt. So I've got this random guy on the internet and I've got the soap again in here. Now let's see what it comes back with because this is a little bit harder than to just add a soap to a before and after image. So right away, without the need for any crazy editing or graphic designer, I'm able to generate these images. I'm sure there's multiple other ways that you can generate images if you've done something yourself drop it in the comment section below i would love to know how some of you guys are using ChatGPT to create ads for your brand this is a crazy prompt so i'm quite interested to see what it comes back with because i said the left side has got tan lines and the right side doesn't have tan lines yeah there you go this is an ad as well like day one this guy is clearly visibly tanned his skin looks a bit weird and then day 14 his tan's been removed oh my god this is sick and the fact that He's holding the soap, the product. Damn, that is actually pretty cool. Every time I, I do this, I'm, I'm impressed myself. Now the last type of image ad is really iteration. I've got an ad from Real. I'm gonna add that ad and I'm also gonna add my product, this random soap. And my prompt will be replace the product on the left image with the soap. Keep everything else the same. Four by five aspect ratio. To give you a bit more insight, I really like this image ad from Real. I essentially want to replace this with our soap, so keep everything else the same. Actually, I might also replace or change this review. So I'm replacing the review with this soap has removed my tan line in just 14 days. I'm just gonna go be a bit bold in the corner. I want you to add a small image with a before and after of tan lines. Ensure the before and after image does not cover the view text. What I'm trying to do is create an iteration of an ad to say in the ad account you have an ad that's working, you want to replicate that for another brand or you want to replicate that for another product. This is a really good way to do that. Obviously this is a bottom of funnel ad because it's a review. So the person that looks at this ad or sees this ad has somewhat engaged or has been made aware of this brand. Something that is super important is your research. You can't just create winning ads using ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a tool and this is where a good creative strategist is separated from a bad. You need to do your research and research doesn't have to be unsexy and boring. There is an actual way where if you're able to leverage ChatGPT, your research time and the depth of your research can significantly improve. I've got a video where I run you through my research process. I've also got another video where I demonstrate how you can build an AI agent that is able to do a lot of your research for you. Video in the link description down below. Maybe not the best image. I would tweak the prompt a little bit, but it has given us most of the stuff that we requested it to give us. It's got, got that little before and after image at the top left corner. It's also written the review quite well. It's got four stars for some reason. I'm wondering if the other ad has four stars. I actually got five stars. I guess one of the stars got covered by the image. Yeah, these are three ways that I'm currently using ChatGPT to generate image ads. Are there any other ways that you're using ChatGPT? Drop it down in the comment section below. But that's all from me for today. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.